All right, so here's an example of using this formula to factor a difference of cubes. So let's say we want to factor the expression x cubed minus 27. Now we've talked about it a couple times before. Remember that 27 is 3 times 3 times 3, which is 3 cubed. Okay, so then this is really x cubed minus 3 cubed. So this is indeed a difference of cubes, so we can use this formula here. So what's our a and what's our b? Well first, let's get rid of this stuff here, just to make room for ourselves. Okay, now what's our a and what's our b? So we're going to use this formula here. Here's our a. Okay, our a is just x, and our b is just this 3 right here. Okay. So when we use our formula then, what are we going to have? Well, the formula says do uh, factor this into a minus b. So x is a for us, and our b is 3. So a minus b is going to be x minus 3. And then in here, we're going to have a squared. Since a is x, then a squared is just x squared. And then plus a b. What's a? a is x. What's b? b is 3. Okay. And then plus b squared. And again, what's b? b is 3. So b squared is just 3 squared. Okay, now notice, even though we have a minus sign in front of the 3, b is still just positive 3, not negative 3, because the formula says a cubed minus b cubed. Okay, so here's our a, it's being cubed, and then we subtract the b cubed. So a being raised to the third power, a being raised to the third power, and then we have our minus sign here, minus sign here, and then b raised to the third power, b raised to the third power. Okay, so the b does not include the minus sign here. So the b is just this number right here, which in this case is just 3 and not negative 3. Okay? So anyway, continuing, we get x minus 3, that quantity multiplied by the quantity what? Well, x squared is just x squared. x times 3 is commonly written as 3x. And then plus 3 squared means plus 9. So that's how we factor x cubed minus 27 using this formula for factoring a difference of cubes.